What's up troopers, my name is Neon and today here is the setup for the brand new assault rifle for season 6. The assault rifle we're going over is the VHX D3. Also troopers, I just switched over to a new computer but I've been going through this issue with my microphone. My microphone is absolutely great and there's nothing wrong with it but for some reason I'm getting this weird static issue. So if you hear it for the video I do apologise but if you're good when it comes to audio and stuff like that please help me out because I don't know how to fix this so if there is any audio geniuses please let me me know because i really want to fix this problem so let's go and read off the stats what we have so the firepower is 56 accuracy is 60 range is 59 and handling is 28 with a rate of fire of 850 now that is a very fast rate of fire weapon this gun actually reminds me like the gew it really does and i tell you what the accuracy is so good with this gun probably one of the most consistent accuracy weapons it really is it's so good when it comes to close range fantastic when it comes to medium range and if you tap fire you be very surprised on the way you can perform at long range but before we get into the setup troopers you haven't liked the video please do and of course subscribe to the channel as well would really appreciate it. love having new troopers and we're going for all these cool settings these guides and i don't want you guys to miss out so seriously subscribe what are you waiting for so starting off the number one thing we're going for is the first dot site this is the most casual dot site and probably the fan favorite dot site out of any other sites in the game this is just a really good site it's your standard 1.25 five dot site and this is the one what you should be using just overall especially if you are an aggressive player and if you like going aggressive and you're playing like the new map redact or any situation where it's pretty dark then you should be using the thermal 1.25 x the thermal is extremely good just like the dot site it doesn't actually have any more higher zoom but the thermal is just overall good because you can actually see the enemies so if there's a lot of times where there's smoke or just so much explosives and you can't really figure out where the enemies are go use the thermal site and you'll see exactly what they're do it and you'll get them no problem with a weapon like this you would think to yourself well i want to be using something what actually helps me out with better recoil but honestly this weapon is a really fast rate of fire weapon and i totally get it but the one thing i feel like especially because this game has a more spread now there's one attachment you need to be using more than anything and that is the tactical compensator what the tactical compensator is actually going to do is it's actually going to help you out with your accuracy yes you lose a little bit of recoil but that's not a big deal but the accuracy increase is extremely important these are going to be the gunfights we can actually have from medium range and you're going to be way more consistent so example if someone was using a different muzzle than you so if you and the enemy are shooting exactly on the same area i guarantee you're definitely going to win that gunfight especially if that other enemy is not using a tactical compensator because your weapon is going to shoot way more accurate than his and that's what's really important yes i know it got a nerf and all that but the rap suppressor is still good because well it's one of the things you need to be doing for flanks so my rap suppressor is my second one when it comes to the bottom of the plus menu i have actually been using the bcg light grip bcg light grip is also going to be very important just like the tactical compensator because this actually helps you with your aim down sight accuracy the only one thing you do lose is your hit fire accuracy so you've got to be careful the way you use this weapon you're in close quarter situations because if you try to hit fire you're going to realize it's going to be a little bit more spread but actually using the aim down sight accuracy is going to be really good yes you're not going to be strafing left and right as consistent with most other attachments but this is going to be so much more better using a tactical compensator and the bcg light grip is going to be so good because you're going to be shooting extremely straight even if you're tap firing you're going to be doing really well so for them too it's going to be very good when it comes to accuracy but if you do want to switch it up and you want to be a little bit more consistent maybe you like playing mckay so you like strafing ads in then the lwg grip is also really good for you this is actually going to help you out with your accuracy while moving but you have to be moving because if you stand still you're actually going to have a bit more spread so the lwg WG grip or the BCG light grip is your two personal choices. For me, really, I would go for the BCG light grip, but that is totally up to you. And when it comes to your magazines for this weapon, it has to be the standard issue extended. This is going to give you 40 rounds, so it's really good. As I said, this weapon is just like a GEW. It really is just a little bit more rate of fire, but the GEW only offers 30 rounds. So the fact is this gun offers 40 rounds is a really good plus. And then my second one is the subsonic. And then my last one's the standard issue issue and there you go troopers that is the setup for the vhx d3 extremely good assault rifle and i feel like you guys are gonna have a blast with it i hope this setup actually helped you and if it did don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe to be a part of the pink army and i'll see you troopers on the battlefield